Hey everybody, today is March 20th and it is the $5 Goodwill Challenge Day. This is a challenge that was created by Hillary at My So Called Home and if you've never checked out her channel, it's just called My So Called Home, but her name is Hillary. She is the most adorable girl from New Jersey. I'm old enough to be her mother, but I just really look forward to all her videos that she does. She's she's big in an organization and things and so anyway, she's just a doll and and I and I was so excited to persist participate this season. So what the what it is is you have five dollars, you've got to go to Goodwill and do and and spend only five dollars or any kind of thrift or rummage sale and and it can be some it can be a uh, a DIY project or whatever, you know, something to do with spring. And so this is what I what I picked up. So the first thing I want to show you is this pillowcase and uh 99 cents at, at our Goodwills. This is just the cutest little ceramic dragonfly. I got this. The price is kind of cut off. It didn't print correctly, but it's, it has a five on there, but it was 59 cents. And this right here is just a little ceramic, kind of like little barrel thing. I'm going to show you what my intentions are for this. I have something that I've been working on for the last week or so, and I'll show you what my intentions are for this. So uh, this is going to be cute. And this was 99 cents as well. And this right here was my score of the day. This is a Fisker Circle Punch. I mean, I have one almost like it, but it's a scallop one. And these are upwards to $20 a piece. And I saw this for $1.99, and I snagged it. Um, uh, you know, I, I, I have a way to cut out circles, but this is definitely the, the quickest way if you just need a bunch of quick circles. So uh, this is uh, was total score. So that's two, three, four dollars and fifty nine cents plus tax. I don't even think I broke the five dollars. So all right, so I'm going to show you uh, the what I plan to do with these four things. Okay, this is what I created using my circle punch. Very simple. Um, I just took some ribbon I had in my stash and I had already had some of those Target dollar spot little miniature clothespins. And just a word for the wise, if you they usually come in 20 a pack and if you ever need close to 20, I'd suggest you get it, um, another pack because they are very delicate, but they are cute if you uh, clip them somewhere and just leave them alone. But anyway, I used the circle punch, created a little banner that says Happy Easter. And then in a few weeks after Easter, I can switch out the little circle simple enough and put Happy Spring and that'll carry me through May. So now on to the next project. Okay, my next project is incomplete and it's in it's in uh, work in progress. This is the little ceramic barrel that I picked up because I have been in planning to relocate my fairy garden. And I don't want to go into a lot of detail with it because I'm going to make a video on it. But I have all my stuff out on my counter now, kind of washing it because I want to change places. And I just thought this little ceramic barrel would be such a cute addition to my fairy garden. So stay tuned or subscribe to my channel and I'll be glad to... Uh, share with you uh, how I incorporate this into my fairy garden. Okay, here's my little ceramic dragonfly. I can set him all over the house, anywhere, and on the bathroom vanity or outside on a little table. I just want to show you if that little dragonfly is versatile enough where it can go in any little spot I find in the house. And I thought that was cute sitting on that little book with the candle. Okay, my next simple project, I took my pinking shears and I am going to cut this pillowcase into some three inch strips starting from the bottom all the way to the top. Okay here are my new spring pillows. They're not new to me because I've had these pillows for several several years and I just thought this year they needed a little facelift and just those little cut strips of fabric did the trick. I love to mix patterns and uh and you can also do this technique with an old scarf you have that's kind of finished on the edges. Um, the reason why I use the pink and shears is because it gives the fabric a little bit of finished look without having to do any hemming or the iron-on tape or anything like that. And so this is just a really easy, quick way to give some old pillows you have a facelift. And for 99 cents... I did it. So, hope you enjoyed watching this Goodwill Challenge. It certainly was fun. It was a little frustrating because I was afraid I was running out of time, but it turned out good, and I love all three projects that I was able to create. So, hope you enjoyed it, and looking forward to the fall one. Bye-bye.